Do you know we spend approximately one-third of our lives in bed? Well, so writes Sam Renoff of New York City, and he continues, now, I've heard that it's possible, using special photographic equipment, to record every move a person makes throughout a night. That's something I'd like to see. Well, Mr. Renoff, in answer to your request, we use a technique called lapse time, condensing a seven-hour night into less than three minutes. Our subject was Fred Chambers, a major airlines pilot. And when Fred settled down at 11 o'clock one night, our camera was rolling. He said he was dog-tired, and not even the presence of lights and cameramen could keep him from sleeping like a log. Our special camera set to catch his every move. Clock in the foreground showing the exact time. So watch a quiet night in the life of Fred Chambers. Seven hours sleep condensed into two minutes. <laughs> Hour and a half gone, and already he's made four major body twists and assorted contortions. Some sleep authorities say the deepest sleep comes later. Let's hope so. <laughs> Past three o'clock, night half gone, and he's moved five more times. Knee bends, leg stretches, body rolls. Settling down now. A little after four, he gets comfortable. 4.25, a little restless. Minutes later, he's at it again. Now, just before dawn, perhaps this will be the hour of undisturbed sleep. Last chance. Knees up left, knees up right. Final total, 23 major body motions in a seven-hour period. Did Fred have a good sleep? Well, strangely enough, he did. Physiologists have proven that the average normal sleeper turns from 25 to 50 times during the night. A good night's sleep condensed into two minutes. But while Fred looked like a whirling dervish on a mattress, he said he woke up feeling great, perfectly refreshed. Now, maybe you'd like to see how we made such an unusual film. So, here's what went on before 11 o'clock that night in Fred Chambers' bedroom. Our U.S. for it cameraman Murray Diatley rigged a special camera on a beam over the bed. A single light focused to make the pictures possible, but with a minimum disturbance to the sleeper. A large clock propped on a chair. And Fred prepared to settle down into the arms of Morpheus. The camera overhead could be triggered by a string whenever Fred made the slightest motion. It would then run briefly, shut off when the string was pulled again. So all Murray had to do was pull the string. And here also in lapse time photography is a record of cameraman Diatley's seven hour shift condensed into just 30 seconds. Okay, Murray, lights, camera, action. And Mr. Runoff, that's how our cameraman showed us what it's like to sleep like a log. You asked for it.